Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. It's a little dark in here. I don't have my lighting equipment, but I know one thing for sure, you're going to be able to hear me, okay? Thanks a lot again. If you could take a second, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that too. And by the way, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, today's Halloween here in Ottawa, Canada. What I want to talk about today is something that I was ignorant to the fact or unaware of when it came to my recovery. And it was really important. This is a really important video for people out there struggling in their recovery, especially when it comes to their emotions and their mental health. And you're really struggling, having a hard time. Stick around, this video is gonna be good for you. I thought that if I went to a 12 step program and I applied myself completely, just completely applied myself 100%, that I would start feeling better. And I did start feeling better health wise, like physically, I started feeling better. Financially, I started to feeling better but I had all these emotional issues and all these emotional difficulties that I was dealing with I was dealing with trauma from the past from the childhood trauma I was dealing with a lot of pain a lot of guilt a lot of anger just that kind of stuff and my thoughts in my head weren't you know they're were like negative thoughts all the time my mind was racing like crazy and I went to these 12-step programs and I sat in the rooms and I did everything I could to help myself when it came to these issues. I thought the 12 steps would take care of these problems for me. If I just worked the steps hard enough, things would get better. And they did get better. I didn't drink. So when it came to my drinking, these the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous had that problem solved for me. I was able to stay sober, but I wasn't able through the steps to solve all my issues. I wasn't. And I thought I was letting myself down. I thought, you know, everybody else seems to be functioning okay, but I'm still having a hard time and I've been kicking around for two years, three years in this program and I'm still having a hard time with my relationships, I'm having anger problems, I'm crying a lot still, I'm just having a lot of emotional and mental issues still. And I said to myself, this program business is not working for me, Some, I need to do something else and I did. I had a sponsor at the time that came up to me and said, Terry, you need to go to a counselor. And then what he said to me was really cr cr critical, what he, what he added on to it. He said, go to a counselor that has nothing to do with addiction. And I thought that was really important. Not so much at the time, but now. Because I went to addiction counselors and they always brought in the 12 steps or this addiction therapy. And, I, and it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. They tried hard with me. They gave it all to me for free and everything. And I went every week or sometimes three times a week, but I wasn't connecting my, my problems with the addiction part of it. And I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but I wasn't, I wasn't. So he said to me, go to a counselor that is not in the addiction business. And I went to a psychotherapist. I went to a cognitive therapist and I kept going to these people and they looked after those other issues that I had. They really did. And I, I was amazed how well that worked for me. They didn't focus on my addiction. They didn't focus on my addiction of alcoholism and drug addiction. They focused on my childhood trauma. They focused on my anger. They focused on my hurt and my pain and my guilt. And then when it came to my addiction, I went to 12 step program. And the 12 steps of AA have kept me sober for decades, but I needed more than just a 12 step program to solve all my issues, to solve all my problems. So if you're there and you're suffering, you're saying, I'm not getting this program. It's not helping me. I'm still acting out. You need to do what I did. Go to a 12 step program or smart recovery or whatever program you're involved with, keep going to that because that'll help you with your addiction, your alcoholism or drug addiction, but other issues that you're having that are haunting you still, go to somewhere that is separate. Find a therapist, find a psychologist that can work on those issues with you. In both of those streams, the therapist stream and the 12 step stream will slowly, slowly, slowly come together and you'll find yourself in a better place, in a better place. The 12 step programs weren't enough for me. Recovery was not enough for me, but therapy was not enough for me if I didn't stop drinking. So I had to stop drinking first 
in order to address the underlying issues in my life. I had to do that. So if you're having problems, adhere to this video, understand that the 12 step program or the therapy, I mean the, the, the group that you're in for your addiction may not be enough for you. You might be doing very well with that program, but you may just need a little bit of help in the other issues in your life, the ones you're holding on to. My biggest problem was I couldn't find my way out of them. I couldn't find a way how to address them for I could let them go. And I couldn't get that help in 12 step program. I really, I really couldn't. So do that. Recovery for me has always been two streams. It's always been a therapy stream and it's always been a 12 step program stream. Both of those have always gave me great results in my personal growth in life. And I've done that for many, many years and I would recommend it to anybody. Everybody needs a good program and a good therapist. That's what we all need, most of us, when it comes to our recovery, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're going to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, please subscribe, take another second, hit that like button. Just remember though, one thing, sobriety is freedom. It really, really is. And tonight is trick-or-treat night. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.